Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. Hey guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this showcase video. Uh, I'm going to pre-warn everybody, there is going to be a fanboy moment in this video, obviously, as it is a Blood Angel Dreadnought, so I do apologise in advance, but welcome to the showcase. We have an awesome Blood Angels Death Watch Leviathan Dreadnought. Uh, what a model right from the get-go. It's been painted by Dickie, one of the artists here at Siege, who has done an incredible job on this miniature. Uh, really, really well executed. Lovely tones and colors added onto this model and all the details look exquisite as per the regalia of the blood angels extremely detailed with lots of sort of artificer items and uh, just artistic things on the uh, on the dreadnought itself so let's jump in and have a look uh, right from the get-go you can see this phenomenal phenomenal leviathan dreadnought uh, in this uh, death watch uh, scheme obviously a nice blue black which is just awesome uh, dickie's done a really good job of painting every single little detail on this uh, this chap um, and obviously as a uh, Leviathan Dreadnought he's a fallen sort of uh, hero of the chapter uh, that has been off on a sort of consignment to the Death Watch to uh, to assist in uh, in purging of the Xenos and uh, it looks by the uh, little sort of tyrannid head there on the base that he's uh, been having a successful time in doing so um, really nice execution of the model overall just great attention to all the little details that do come with uh, sort of Blood Angel models those extra little bits like all the gems and things uh, all the sort of faces and things Things that you see across the sarcophagus um I love the steel arm on it as well. I think it's really, really cool. This sort of bluish silver, which is just really, really nice. And um, just the armored areas. Obviously, you've got the claws parts of the, of the of the siege claw, which are obviously done in that sort of super clean silver. Again, a, a clean finish as well, as per obviously uh, the uh, the sort of narrative of Blood Angels uh, maintaining and looking after their own gear. I don't think the Dreadnought would be able to look after himself in that way. But the the uh, the, the tech adept, adepts and the uh, chapter serfs have definitely been uh, getting out the polish on this guy and looking after him. Um, so yeah, really, really cool execution across the model you've got that lovely super vibrant saturated red on the uh, right shoulder just to obviously denote the uh, blood angels lineage uh, with nice sort of transitional color on there as well just obviously a bit of shading which is really really nice again you can see the super edge is super sharp the edge highlighting has been across the sarcophagus and all the areas of the armored cowlings uh, really nice clean metal work with all edged as well across the areas of the back of the sarcophagus i love the heat damage on those exhaust pipes there just at the bottom uh, which is really really cool that sort of heat bloom which has just been done on there obviously got some sort of smoky exhaust tips that are on there from a nice sort of uh, really bright yellowish gold through to a mid warm gold through to that darker richer darker end where it's just got some heat damage and soot built up onto it another blood drop on the back because you couldn't have another blood drop on there just loads and loads and loads on there ix obviously for the ninth legion uh that skull on there which is really cool uh, we've got this awesome urban basing which i just absolutely love i think uh, the eye bar that's just sticking out in various areas looks great um obviously you've got the two flamers on the front of the sarcophagus as well so uh just uh, just also down there just to uh, keep any people that do get to super close after uh, well taking the uh, the fusel aid from the uh, melter lance uh, that this this chap has got other little things there is a little lens just inside here inside the melter lance that's been painted in a nice green as well i'll see if i can get that on camera you can see the lens just in there with a point of light source and catch light uh, obviously fully magnetized i didn't just rip the arm off uh, just for our client to make this interchangeable uh, for different weapon loadouts you've got ball written there on that scroll as you'd expect on any uh, sort of hero of the chapter they'd be carrying the name of their, of their uh, sort of uh, home world forward uh, but yeah really really well executed Dickie's done a great job on this miniature I do hope that you like it ever so much and uh, we've absolutely loved having this model in the studio um, and uh, completing it for our clients so again a big thank you to our client for completing this commission with us and uh, great work done by Dickie here one of the team members at Siege I do hope you like it I'll see you very soon on the next one and never forget for Sanguinius and for the Emperor. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.
So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.